Hi, this is The Good Life here. Today I'm coming to you to show you Simplicity 8593. This is it right here. I did this version, D, and this is the line drawings right here. And here it is. It has the V-neck right there. And it's out of vintage material, all cotton. And it has the button right here, the button right here, a pleat right there, and it it ties in the front, underneath the front bodice. Here's another button, two side buttons, and this is the back ties. It's a very easy sew, but the facing is right here, and they um, omitted the facing. I don't know why they did that. They omitted the facing on there, the instructions, but it is a very nice, easy sew. Okay, so that is Simplicity 8593, and also they have one back in the 40s this is the advanced the same type of pattern but it only came with the bow ties and the round neck and this is the um, line drawings right here so it's advanced 4617 this it right here but I did the simplicity and what I'm going to show you today is um some new stuff okay let's go with this this is a Chinese sewing basket I got this with a big haul for $20 a basket full of goodies and in $20 so I didn't understand what this was and I had to go on eBay eBay is selling these for like $15 up to $50 $75 they were made handmade in China back in 1900s to 1940s. These are the Peking glass beads. This, uh, this is the old Chinese coins right here. And I got um, firecrackers or whatever right there. So what I did to make sure the beads don't fall off, I just um, tied some fabric at the ends. And this is a resin, a resin or resin handle. And you pull it up. And what I did, mine were lined with this type of fabric. So I just put this in there. This is crepe back satin. I put this in there to keep it um, better. Do it better. Yeah, yeah. See, it's right here. Yeah, something's in it right there. So I just did it better. And this is what came in it. This is a um, petite sewing kit. And it has to be back in the 40s because look at the phone number. Chapel 33571. This is amazing. Out of Richmond, Virginia. And I have um, thread, vintage thread, um, an old th um, thread spool right here. And this is, I put, um, this is a needle holder. I got a needle in here. I put needles in here. And also this, these are ivory. And I was reading about that they usually put ivory in there. I think this used to be, is for the thimble or something. I think that was handmade thimbles, but it was just flat. That's amazing. Ivory. This came with it. And I just put this in, in there. And I'm like, wow. I went to an antique store in Williamsburg, and they were selling these for up to $75. Okay. Now, my first um, fabric haul was from So Haley Jane in England. And she sent a card. Let's see art the summer with this box of beautiful blooms. Signed Haley. This is it right here. She always sent um, a handwritten note. And this 
what I had got. I got a zipper, fat quarters. These are beautiful fat quarters. Wow, these are nice. They really feel good. And I got thread. And I got um, how to take care of the um, instructions on how to take care of the fabric. And then she gave me the key points of clothing care. She sent this right there, 10% off at something. And then she, oh wow, sent me this. This is stickers, sew so stickers. That's nice. I got another one. You get these on eBay. Sewing is my superpower. That's nice. I got to figure out where I'm going to put this at. Then she's always sent us sweets. Look at that. Candy. Very nice candy. So I can't wait to get that. And then this is the fabric. Look at this. It's always 2.5 or 3 meters of fabric. Look at that. This is 100% cotton. I am do not know what I'm going to make with this, but this definitely is saying spring, summer to me, not fall, but I am going to enjoy making something out of this. Okay, so that is so Haley. Then I have this right here. Um, I went to a um, girlfriend's, um, she has a thrift store, and I you know, volunteered to straighten up her fabric guess what I found I found Swiss old Swiss dot fabric vintage right here can you believe that and this this about two yards right here right here isn't that gorgeous and this is going to be a blouse or a skirt I think a blouse because um, a blouse and I am going to make it like one of these blouses right here. And then this one uh, also is a old Swiss. This is the sheer though. This is sheer. Old Swiss sheer. And this is like it's two it's two um two parts to this. So and I think I am going to make one of these dresses here me uh, blouse here and that's the line joint for that one for the next summer and I'm looking for some more of this because I am flabbergasted that I got this then I went to um, the DAV in um, Williamsburg and this what I had I found this right here this is fabric right here I found this one This one right here. This one. So these are spring, summer, and fall. And wouldn't believe what I got. Look at this. Tweed cotton woven. Can you imagine? And I got this for $1.96. It's amazing. Then I got this. Velvet. Can you imagine that? For $1.98. All this velvet. Then I got the corduroy. Corduroy. And I got this. Look at this. This is suiting right here. And I got two of these. And I got all of this fabric for $7. Can you imagine? I am flabbergasted. And then also, I went to a thrift store yesterday, and I found a book. This is Singer Sewing Book. This is the first edition, 1949. And this what I want to share with y'all guys. This is how you prepare for sewing. 
mentally. Prepare yourself mentally for sewing. Think about what you are going to do. Approach the job with enthusiasm. You must want to make something lovely. To have the fun of putting pieces of fabric together. To make a garment. To handle the fabric with appreciation. To watch the beauty of the article grow as a result of you planning and effort. Never approach sewing with a sigh or like a daydream. Good results are difficult when indifference predominates. Never try to sew with the sink full of dishes or bed unmade. When there are urgent housekeeping chores, do these first set so that your mind is free to enjoy your sewing. Can you imagine that? This was they put in the book. Physically. Now, this is amazing right here, which I thought it was interesting. When you sew, make yourself as attractive as possible. Go through a beauty ritual of orderliness. Have on a clean dress. Be sure your hands are clean. Fingernails smooth. A nail file is hand. Punemis will help. Always avoid hangnails. Keep a little bag full of French chalk near your sewing machine where you can pick it up and dust your fingers at intervals. This, this is amazing. Looking attractive is a very important part of sewing because if you are making something for yourself, you will try it on at intervals in front of your mirror and you can hope for better results when you look your best. This is, ama I mean, this is amazing. Material, materially, assemble all the essentials you are going to need before you begin. Have clothes at hand. Have clothes at hand, the press board and iron. My press board and iron at hand. A small bowl of water. Don't need that. I got starch. Preferably with the clean sponge. You don't need that. Cheese cloth and heavy muslin. I have that press cloth. Think you thing you need so with. So that you would not have to jump up and down. So everything um with you. Like for here, this is my sewing. Um, this is my sewing machine, and this is everything I sew with. This is my snippers. And my snippers right here. Right there, I put in there. This is everything that I need. Everything is right by my side. Amazing. Okay. And then it says, plan for sewing time. Make an appointment with yourself to sew, just as you would with your hairdresser or with a neighbor to go shopping. If your intimates enjoy sewing, invite them to come over and sew with you from 2 to 5 on Wednesdays or perhaps for an evening each week. Do not spend your time planning refreshments, but insist that each bring sewing to do. That's amazing. Plan what you are make ahead of time. Keep a notebook. I have that. I keep a whiteboard right here of what I want to sew. I keep my patterns right here. What I want to sew, they're right here. And also I have a board where I write down what I want to sew. Amazing. And um, it just goes on and on. And I'm thinking this is so lovely. And this book also tells you about um, everything from clothing to um, home furnishings, which is amazing. And then also I want to share with you that I got a Simflex Expand sewing gauge. What that is, okay, this is right here. So you flex this out. You flex this out right here. And for instance, if you want to sew a button right here, you put this here and you can have equal line equal line of buttons and also with pleats so Amazon sell this for $16 and I got it because my girlfriend in England told me about it and I had to get her one because they don't sell one in England and it tells you the um, how to use it with pleats buttons and everything so I do recommend 
the dressmakers to get this Simflex expanding, which I did. So that will help me nail for my buttons. Okay, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, I'm really proud of my, um, this is my second um, Simplicity 8593. The one time I did this around Easter and it had a big bow and stuff, but this is it right here. So I'm really proud of that. Thank you and God bless. Be safe. Bye.